How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So how about pressing on this virtual button on your iPhone and opening up the camera as if you're pressing on the new action button on the iPhone 15 Pro series or even better, double tapping on it and taking a screenshot. So how cool is that? Well, as you can imagine, this is fully customizable and you can set this to many, many actions on your iPhone using the assistive touch feature. And this is not new, I know, but this is great because it means that everyone can use it. It's universal and doesn't matter what iPhone you have, you can use this on your iPhone. So let me go ahead and disable the feature so I can re-enable it, customize it step by step with you. Let's go. All right, so all you have to do is open up your settings and then tap here at the top where it says search. If you don't see the search bar, pull down and it'll show up and tap on it and type assistive. Assistive is enough, right? And then it'll be your second option, assistive touch. Tap here and then tap on it. It'll be off by default, okay? So you go ahead and enable it. And then you'll instantly see this virtual button right here that it can place anywhere you want on your screen. It'll stick to the edges of your screen, as you can see right here, and it can do so, so much. By default, uh, as you tap on it, it's gonna launch a menu and then have some presets right here, but we can make it so, so, so much better, especially because we can set it to do different things depending on how you interact with it. For example, a double tap will do something, a long press will do another thing, and we can customize it and map it to whatever we want. And it's super easy to do. Right here you see single tap, open menu, and I do recommend that you leave it like that. Double tap, so let's tap on it, and then you can do whatever you want. In my example, in the intro, when I double tap, it would take a screenshot. So we can scroll down here and tap on screenshot, if that's what you want, of course, but you can set to any of those actions right here, okay? Let's come back, and we have long press, and I generally like to have it either as the camera or the control center. And this is super useful as well. So then from now on, you tap and hold on assistive touch. And as you can see, the control center will show up. And the whole idea of using the assistive touch is the fact that sometimes it's so hard to actually reach some areas of your iPhone. For example, control center, take a look, especially if you have a Pro Max or a Plus phone, you almost have to almost drop your iPhone in order to access this area, take a look. And because the camera is right here, the camera shortcut, um, then it's super hard to do this motion right here. But of course, with assistive touch, long press, and then it's gonna show up. And the cool thing about it is it's always gonna be there for you on any screen, on any app, assistive touch is always right here. Even if you lock the screen, as you can see, assistive touch is right here, long press, you have your control center, for example. So how cool is that? I really, really love it. And of course, if you go back here to assistive touch, we can customize this first menu as well because maybe this is not right for you, at least it isn't for me. So if I go ahead here and tap on customize top level menu, uh, you can see that we can easily even add more icons if you want to, up to eight, but I generally like the layout with six. I just like to change it a little bit. For example, since I have control center as a long press right here, I don't need it in the menu as well. So I like to tap on it and then go ahead and choose the camera, for example. So camera, tap on done. And right here, I don't really use Siri, so I can tap on Siri and I can change that and replace it with reachability. Let me show you what reachability is. So for example, as you can see on this page, on this menu, uh, done, the button done is right there at the top right hand corner. So I have to do that exact annoying motion. But with reachability, I don't. So if I'm here and I'm gonna press the done button and I don't wanna use my other hand, I can just tap on it once, right? Open up the menu. Now we have reachability, tap on it and everything comes down. So I can tap on okay, on done, and then it's so good and it goes back up or I can just swipe up and it goes back up, right? So, so cool. Uh, on top of that, I also like to change this custom button to restart. So right here, restart, right? So then, let's do the exact new motion that we learned. Come back, it's right here. 
and then we can easily restart our iPhone by pressing here and tapping on restart. And it's so useful to restart your iPhone. It's gonna automatically clean the RAM memory and so, so, so much more. So it's super recommended that you restart your iPhone every once in a while, right? And if you have this button right here, you don't have to actually press and hold volume up and side button for a while and then slide and then wait for it to turn off and then go ahead and press on the side button once again. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is press and restart. It's going to automatically turn off, turn back on. Great. You don't have to worry about it. So uh, that's pretty much how I use my assistive touch, right? So one tap and I have everything I love here. Take a look at notification center, for example, another great example tap on it it goes down how annoying is this this motion and you have to readjust your iphone afterwards so love it the way it is as well so notification center restart reachability your home so then you can easily uh anywhere on your iphone do this motion right this is home this right here camera and device which you have a ton of stuff as well that you can play with but pretty much that's how i like to use it one tap two taps and of course press and hold and I love assistive touch and I know some of you guys that are not really familiar with assistive touch will think yeah but this is going to be in the way for example when I'm typing no guys it isn't because if you open up a note for example and you tap take a look at this it goes down it hides itself it's smart so if you have any area on your iPhone that you need to actually input text a keyboard or anything else, a keypad, your assistive touch, if it is right here at the bottom, it will hide itself automatically. It's super, super smart. And then it, of course, it's gonna come back to where it was, its original position. So that's how I like to use it, very close to my thumb. So if I'm on my left hand, that's how I use it. If I'm on my right hand, I move it right here and then I have easy access everywhere on my iPhone, on any app, on any screen, absolutely everywhere so yeah that's pretty much it that's assistive touch on your iphone working great in ios 17 i super recommend that you use it okay so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye